morning and welcome to Focus on Liberia Television. We are coming to you live and direct from the Ellie Johnson Sally Ministerial Complex, where the National Elections Commission of the Republic of Liberia is certificating today to elected members of the legislature, the Liberian legislature that comprises of the House of Representatives and the Senate, of course, as you may be aware, on the 10th of October this year, the Iberians went to the polls to elect 73 members of the House of Representatives, 15 members of the Senate, the post president and a vice president. The elections went into the run where two of the candidates were selected to go for the runner. But the first round saw uh, members of the House and the Senate being elected. And so today is the day that the Elections Commission is certificating them to have them accredited to take their seat on the 15th of uh, January next year. So my name is Chris Howard. This is a build up. My colleague, Gwendolyn Dorado, is in the hall of the hall, I'm in the yard, the compound of the Ellen Joseph Selim Ministerial Complex, a support of a support of legislative, uh, legislative elect rather, the film is full of the the traditional dancers, family, the culture, dancers of the So thanks for joining me, be live with me. I will take the camera around. Some of the legislators are still making their way uh, through to the Ministerial Complex. We are posted right at the entrance of the, of the Ministerial Complex. So you show that uh, we gave you the view, the favorite view of, of what happened here. So thanks for joining me. I continue to follow this live broadcast. This is focus on Liberia. My name is Prince Mama. This is what we love to do with the best of our ability. Of course, yes. Today is one of the Remarkable days in our country's history. Uh, we're going to be seeing another transition of government from one democratic government to another. When it's that so now back in 2018, when the Ellen Johnson Sally government turned our power to the Congress of Coalition for Democratic Change government that was that is that is currently headed by President George Weah, former former legend. That government will be coming to an end. On the 22nd of January uh, next year, when the Joseph Waka government, the former vice president to the Unity Party, former president Ali Jerusalem, now president elect, will be taking the mantra of authority to lead this country for the next six years. He has put a hundred of us. Uh, in continuation of that, uh, 73 members of the House of Representatives, and also, and also, members of the celebrating uh, elected as well. So do join me. I'm taking the camera around now. So you show that will bring you a perfect view of what's up in your side. My name is Prince. Thanks for following me. Follow me as we do the view of happy. Thanks for joining me. So, Grand Basel Senator elect Besonga Milton Friendly, former pro chamber of the Liberian Senate, now Senator elect of Grand Basel County, is walking in. Uh, former pro How do you feel? Office. You are there as a pro chamber of the Liberian Senate under your watch, the Senate for the I'm basically going to serve the people of Basel. Okay? Thank you so much. All right, folks, uh, we are still here. Let me show you that we'll bring you live. Courage of us happening. Us, uh, So we see 
stay here. And we are posted outside of the wall. And I'm doing everything possible to bring you the view from outside. Like I said, my colleague, Gwendolyn Doretto, is uh, in the hall bringing you a view from there. But this is outside of the wall. This place is called the Ellen Johnson Salif Ministerial Complex. Uh, Constructed during the regime of uh, former President Ellen Johnson Sully. Uh, so, the election actually, we saw 73 members of the House, but sadly for us, we just lost one of them, uh, the representative elect of Grand Chidia District Number no. 1, uh, Errol Magnuson William. He died a few days ago, so unfortunately he's not here with his colleagues. But yes, uh, we have 72, even though some of them might still be go going through uh, electoral dispute cases at uh, the Elections Commission. But on the overall, we have 72 uh, that should be taking their seat. If those who resource are currently being challenged uh, will be certificated. But how it is, and we're here. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Keep following us. We are also of the hall, and we'll bring you this live video. Uh, of course, uh, we do this all the time. This is the beginning of a new, 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 new brand uh, government transition, transitioning from one power to another. This is the beginning of that. We will be seeing a uh, new government taking uh, office.
The joint security operation here now is, is becoming chaotic. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
a such point, the interaction from outside is what you will not miss. Why you seeing uh, the indoor program ongoing? Uh, the outside activity. Just now we just saw the the joint security, my handling, an officer of the emer uh, emergency response, not the emergency but, uh, executive prote protection service. An EPS officer bearing, uh, um, is armed. He has his weapon on him. His identification card was displayed. But hey, the police said no, you can pass. And they had to lift him up and chunk him outside of the uh, the parameter of the uh, of the main entrance. A raised some tension here. Uh, but that will be settled among them as security personnel. But it's great to be here. It's great to do what we love doing the best. Uh, we will speak with some of them when they are coming out. Uh, but the process is ongoing. We are not in the hall. But this is how the OSA looks like. This is a ministerial complex. This is Monrovia. This is Liberia. My name is Prince. This is Focus on Liberia Television. Screaming live and direct here. Of course, from the Liberian capital Monrovia. This is the Ellen Joseph Salim Ministerial Complex. Uh, the houses several ministries and agents of government. Uh, yes, it's great to be here. Liberians are here celebrating. The culture dancers are here celebrating. Still here as it relates to this. Yeah, what's up? Tension still here. This is the, the EPS officer that was my handout. And I'm thinking, still been into me today. Still been into me today. Harassed. Still been pushed around, even though he's identified. He's armed. He has a weapon on him. But I don't know why he's been pushed.
food. So this is how we would like to wound down the curtain on this live broadcast. Do join us uh, another time. At, at, at which time we will bring you a chat with some of the lawmakers that will be certificated. Uh, thanks for following us. Thanks for joining. What we ask you to stay tuned to focus on the real life broadcast. We also encourage you to, to share the live videos. We invite somebody to watch along with you. Thanks for following me.